Hi everybody, welcome to the RDRV Glass Studio channel and we're here at the studios at Conway Glass. We're working on a simple stained glass project for you to surprise your friend or relatives who love to kayak. So here we go, cut out the pattern. Now this pattern will be available to you on our website. The whole pattern will be on our website. So this is just the pattern for the kayak body itself. So I've traced this out on a piece of glass and I've put it on, you know, we have, we have, you can see we have a left and a right. So the kayak has two sides, a left side and a right side. So we've traced this out on here and I've went ahead and cut the body out. Now, you know, this pattern can be used again. You can make it like a surfboard as well. However, I trace out my line on my pattern and I always put the pattern together in the center so that all I have to do is make one cut. So I'm gonna make that one cut for us. And remember, we wanna hear the same noise start to finish, top to bottom. Here we go, we're cutting glass, everybody. What a beautiful sound that is. And we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna break it, but we're not sure. I probably should use my running pliers on this. But no, there we go. So now we have our two halves of our kayak. And we'll be right back with step two. So here we go with step number two of our easy stained glass kayak project. All right, so we've cut the glass, we've ground the glass, and we have foiled both halves of the body. All right, so part two of our kayak is we've cut on the pattern. You're gonna see you'll have two pieces that look like this. These are your paddle ends, okay? But before we get started, there is a there's a right way, y'all, to cut a brass rod because we use a brass rod as actually the handle for the paddle, okay? But this is the eighth inch brass rod. Now I want you to be sure that you're cutting this correctly. The correct way to do cut this brass rod is to use a file, okay? And I'm gonna show you. You're gonna use a file, and I'm just gonna set it right here on this, on this pair of pliers so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. And so I'm gonna take the edge of this file, and it is corrugated just like the rest of the file. I know that noise is something else, but what I've done is I've put a small groove inside down into the brass rod. By doing that, I'm not going to mess up the diameter of the hole. I can put my finger directly behind that score and that brass rod will still have its hole, but what we need to do then is just kind of file it just like that. This is the exact same way you treat your brass hinges for your jewelry box. Don't cut, don't cut your brass hinges like that because this is exactly how it looks. I think Barb can probably get a shot of that. We don't want to do that. Okay, so use the file to cut your brass hinges. It makes a much prettier job and also, it makes everything look nice and they're not sharp. So we're gonna take just a moment here. I've got my foil caddy out. My foil caddy right here. I've got my two paddle ends. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these foiled for you. Now, y'all can see how I foil. I, I hold my right hand. You can do it left or right handed, it doesn't matter. I, but I hold my right hand directly in in the center of my chest so I can see what's going on, okay? I make sure that my glass is clean and I always, y'all, I always roll the glass away from me because I wanna see that it's actually gonna be in the middle of what I'm working on because if it's not in the center, then you can't make it look right. You know, you can't wish that it looked right. If you take the time to do the foil correctly, and y'all know what? Don't 
overlap your foil more than a quarter of an inch because it makes a buildup around it and you really don't you really don't want that okay so this is our this is our paddle one of our paddle ends and we're going to burnish this I'm just taking my pencil and burnishing it so if you guys hey if you're just tuned into the channel we want to welcome you Check us out, give us a thumbs up, or maybe even subscribe. We have lots of great things coming up. Welcome again to the RDRV Glass Studio. We'll be right back with step number three. Hi everybody and welcome back to the RDRV Channel Glass Studio. Here we are, we're at Conway Glass and we're doing a very simple project for your stained glass entertainment because you asked for it and now you get it. This is our kayak, our simple stained glass project. So we've done through, we've gone through everything. We've cut our pattern out. We have our seat has been foiled. Our two ends for our paddles has been foiled. And now we're going to solder, we're going to solder the body. So keep in mind, while we're soldering today, we're going to use our touch and go method. And the very first thing I'm going to do is come over here and we're gonna get my sponge right here and I'm gonna clean off my iron. Now that is such a beautiful, beautiful looking iron. We put our flux down and now we're doing our touch and go. One, two, one, two, one, two. So now while we do this soldering here, we're gonna make sure that what, we, what we're soldering is gonna stay together and again, like I told you, it's a very specific reason why I like to split this down the middle. And as we move into the rest of the steps and we, we get this finished for you, you're gonna see exactly why we, we did what we did, okay? So, and I'm just gonna run that bead for you. Boom, run it. Run it, Ed. Okay, so we're tinning, okay, tinning. This is tinning, everybody. We're tinning the outside edge of our project, okay? So now, we're gonna tin the edges so that we can make them strong, rigid, and be able to finish them, okay? So keep in mind, while we're doing this process, you have to keep your project level. I use my soldering, I bend a gooseneck on it so that it helps me. And I just take and I tap that. And you can tell if you got it level or not because the solder will run one way or the other if it's not level, okay? So what this does is it produces a rounded edge on the solder, okay? And that reinforces your copper foil, okay? And makes your work uh, finished. Yeah, don't just put a flat solder bead around the outside of your sun catcher because you know why? It doesn't look finished. And if you're not going to finish it, don't do it. So let's finish this, get this done, and then we're going we're gonna to attach the seat to this. It's already been tinned. But I want you to see how to, you see how I'm kind of bouncing up and down a little bit? And I'm keeping the panel that we're working on, or the sun catcher, keeping it level. If I lay it this way, the solder runs this way. If I lay it that way, the solder runs that way. I would prefer to have the solder level where it belongs and so that it stays together. So now we've got that all taken care of right now. This out, this edge, we're gonna be cleaning that up. And now we have our, we have our seat here. So our seat, y'all, is rounded in the front and looks like that right there. Okay, so we need to tin this real quick because we're gonna attach it. So if you notice, this seat has a texture to it too. It's awesome. This is really a beautiful glass. It's a, it's a Wismac glass actually. It's probably the texture that they don't make anymore. Or not the texture, but the, the shade of this amber that they don't make any longer. So now if you, you just have to be careful. So none of this is attached until it gets cleaned. All right, so we've got these two pieces together. This is our seat. Now I'm gonna show you, now I'm gonna show you how to take your brass rod and we're gonna attach our paddle ends 
to the brass rod, and then we're going to attach it to the kayak. So here we go. This is step number five, and I believe, or step number four. I'm getting ahead of myself. We all know what step number five is. So we're going to get this cleaned up. And remember, the first thing, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flux our br brass rod. And then we all know about brass. It heats up really quick, okay? Sometimes with the brass, you can flux it, put some solder on it, and then reheat it and flux it again. And then the solder will stick really well. Okay, so remember, brass conducts heat. So when you pick this up after you solder it, you're going to want to pick it up with pliers. All right, so the next phase of our project is to tin, okay, to tin our paddles, our paddle ends. Now, I mean, some of you may come up with a different way to, to attach the paddles rather than using a brass rod. I just thought, you know, the brass is so easy to work with with stained glass. And you don't really have to, you know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. But it is a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun to build it. And again, you know, you can you can change this any way that you want. Because you're going to have the pattern. You'll have the pattern. And then once you print it out, you can do whatever you want with it. So these get cleaned up as soon as we attach this. So I want you to see this. Okay, so we're gonna. this is how we're going to attach the paddles. It's very simple. You know, this isn't a this isn't a toy, so nobody's going to be playing with it. But it is really a pretty pretty little sun catcher. I need to move this around so that I can get my fingers off of it. So now I'm going to just hold my pliers down on it. And this is really the best way to do it, you know. Hold your pliers down on it. I'm pretty sure we're doing this in real time. That's really hot, y'all. <laughs> this little brass rod is really hot. I'm going to clean this up for us real quick. And then we're going to attach this seat and just show you how to attach a wire. And we're going to use, we're going to use 16 gauge pre-tinned copper wire because this weighs nothing. And do me a favor. When you cut your copper wire, even though it's soft copper wire, don't use your expensive good lead nippers. Use your old wire cutters, okay? So did you, I don't, I'm not sure if you saw that, but I took my wire. Okay, I'm gonna make another, I'll make two. We're gonna, we're gonna take our wire, I'm taking my pencil. I'm wrapping the wire around my pencil. And I'm just gonna let it go by each other, about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna slide it off my pencil. And now I have what a lot of y'all call a jump ring. Okay, so I have a jump ring now that we've made out of a 16 gauge wire. That jump ring is going to attach to our kayak right here on the very end. Now I've done this, and this is really, it's really small. And so I have, I have to hold onto this jump ring. Let me wipe my iron off here on my sponge. I have to hold this jump ring up myself. Okay. And by doing that, it's going to help me. Here we go. Okay, so that's really simple. Now keep in mind, this is brass so we, or copper, copper wire. So we don't want to, we don't want to touch it right yet because it is awesomely hot, y'all. Okay, so our paddle has cooled down enough for us to handle it. Okay, so we want to make sure that this looks really nice around these outside edges. So hi everybody, we're working on a simple stained glass project for a simple gift for that very special person. And now, this is our kayak. We have our jump ring attached, and now we're gonna attach a seat, okay? So we've got everything, we've got everything all 
lined up here and this pretty 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 little orange seat is gonna look good here so we're gonna take this we're gonna flux it we want to put our seat a little bit towards the back end like it is in a kayak or sometimes it's in the middle my friends like the kayaks that I build for them and they love the they love the colors and they like the fact that it'll hang in their window for them for quite a while and it won't fall apart so hey why don't we go ahead and attach our paddle to our kayak so hi everybody welcome back to the rdrv glass studio we're working here at conway glass today and we're doing a very simple stained glass project for you the kayak project so here we go we're to the point now where we're going to patina everything so i've shaken up my black patina and now we're gonna we're gonna run this around the edges and get everything all shined up and make it I kind of like the pewter gray myself with all these beautiful colors that we make the kayaks out of. Um, I just take a, a simple a simple paper towel to put my black patina on. And we're also going to black patina those. We're going to make sure that we get all that. And then we're going to clean it up. So this, this kayak is about a, a nice, a really nice hour project and uh, normally when we make them here at the studio we will actually cut out 10 or 12 and we'll do like a production kind of thing as you can see on the table in front of me we have eight of them ready to go and we just kind of i like to put it at an angle but now i'm going to attach the brass rod just like that what we don't want we don't want somebody walking by grabbing it and pulling it off or playing with it or it being too fragile that people are afraid to actually touch it. So we don't want that, okay? What we want is just this really, yeah. just the same way we apply reinforcing bar to our stained glass windows. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish off the patina because we just soldered a couple new spots and we wanna get rid of that. So y'all, there's our kayak. We want to thank you for tuning in to the RDRV Glass Studio channel today. I hope that this will inspire you to even take this design a little bit further. Remember, the design will be on our website. It'll cost you 99 cents, but it's, a, it's just a simple way for you to help support the RDRV channel. And we want to thank you again. If this is your first time, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up for Ed and Barb here at the RDRV Glass Studio. Happy holidays and happy stained glass cutting.